Welcome back, everybody. The House and the Senate are now taking up bills that would grant same-sex couples the same immigration rights given to heterosexual couples. Right now, thousands of same-sex families are forced to live on separate continents because immigration laws don't apply to same-sex couples. The Uniting American Families Act would allow those families to live in the U.S. without the fear of being torn apart. And joining me now from California is Karen Boliolo and Judy Rickard, a couple dealing with this right now. And Judy is a U.S. citizen. Karen is a UK citizen. Also, Judy writes about the hard choices that these families have had to make in a book called Torn Apart. Ladies, I want to thank you both for coming on to tell us about your story today. And uh, Judy, I want to start with you because you had to retire early to actually stay with Karen. Explain why. Yes, that's right. Because Karen has to be out of the country and cannot stay here with me uh, uninterruptedly, we either had to be apart or I had to quit my job so that we could be together. Uh, so Karen, as we know, same-sex marriage is not recognized by the federal government right now. Uh, so True. to you, how would this bill allow the binational same-sex families to be together legally and for you to be in this country from the UK as a permanent resident? Because Judy could then sponsor me for immigration, uh, which would allow me to live here permanently. Uh, and what is it like right now for you? Why wouldn't you, per se, get a work visa to live in this country or go about on your own accord to come to this country legally of your own choosing? Mm -hmm. I, I wish I could, um, but I'm going to be 71 this year and a little bit old to employ in something new. Um, and it would also be virtually impossible for me to find anybody to employ me. There is no other way for me to live here except through marriage or if I had a relative, a close relative living here. But basically there is no other way for me to live in America. Now the bill was introduced this past Thursday by Democratic Congressman Jerry Nadler of New York, also Senator Patrick Leahy of Vermont. Uh, Congressman Nadler has been working on this for more than 10 years, admits that the bill probably won't pass the House. But Judy, why is it so important to reintroduce this bill if that happens? Well, I think it's very important to keep fighting for our civil rights and our equal rights. You know, there are about 36,000 at least people and families in situation like ours. The census in 2000 showed that. Now the new census figures will show a larger group, I'm sure. Families like ours, families with children, are being torn apart by current marriage and immigration laws at the federal level. Uh, Same-sex couples and families are really forced to make some gut-wrenching choices uh, between spouse, between family, uh, career, even having to end relationships. Uh, but right. you two did something that I think you're going to make public today for the first time. You actually got married recently, correct? We, yes, we did get married. I'm sorry we didn't bring you with us, but Karen can tell you what happened. <laughs> yes, um, after about six years and uh, all this backwards and forwards, and we've had so many, you know, terrible moments in our lives, we decided that we were going to do something for ourselves. And so a couple of weeks ago, Judy and I just sneaked off on our own, didn't tell anybody. And so far, nobody knows. So we're making this public on, on national television. We went to Vermont and uh -huh. got married. Yes. Well, congratulations. And if you would like to make, if you would like to make publicly known where you're registered, now you can get a lot of gifts. But uh, we, we congratulate. Uh, we're not into that, but thank you okay. very much. <laughs> well, you know, it's just a part of getting married. Uh, no, but I, proud I, to say. Go ahead. Proud to say, though, we did get married in Senator Leahy's state of Vermont. Thank you, Senator Leahy. Well, we'll, we'll yeah, continue to follow you. this bill as it moves through Washington, D.C. We wish you two the best. Uh, congratulations as newlyweds. Uh, and also, thank Judy, you. congratulations on the book. It's called Torn Apart. Bye. This one's for you, Thomas. Thank you very much. I look forward to getting it. Ladies, thank you very much.